My name is Andreas Mogensen, and I'm the first Danish astronaut with the European Space Agency. It was always my dream to be an astronaut um, ever since I was a kid in school. And then as I grew older, uh, I also became very interested in, in science, in particular uh, astrophysics, cosmology, space exploration. So I chose to become uh, an aerospace engineer because I knew the chances of becoming an astronaut were minimal. And I still wanted to work with space exploration, even if I couldn't be an astronaut. Um, I applied in 2008 when ESA announced that they were looking for new astronauts together with uh, about 8,500 other Europeans. And I was lucky enough, after a, a, a year of extensive uh, testing and interviews, I was lucky enough to be selected together with five others. Our home is in uh, Cologne at the European Astronaut Center, but we spend uh, a lot of our time uh, in Johnson, at the Johnson Space Center in Houston together with NASA or in Moscow uh, with uh, the Russian Space Agency. So there's a, a lot of traveling involved, not just when you're in space, but also in preparation for your space flight. My first mission will be this year in September uh, to the International Space Station. I'm launching uh, six years from the day that I started as an astronaut. Uh, so there's been a lot of uh, preparation, a lot of training leading up to the mission. Um, but I'm just really, really excited, looking forward to it. It's uh, the culmination of a, a lot of hard work um, and of course a, a, a dream come true. I suppose what, what really gets me excited about space is the, the, the limitless or infinite possibilities. Um, it's hard to describe exactly how big space is because it just, f from our human point of view, it's, it's, it's almost infinite. We, you know, in many ways, I, 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 I compare it to, to being a, a child in a huge house where all the doors are closed and there's lots of uh, corridors uh, with lots of closed doors. And, and we have this natural urge, this natural need to, to open the doors to find out what's behind them. And maybe there's nothing behind them. Maybe it's just an empty room but maybe there are just unfathomable riches and wonders behind these doors. And we won't know until we open them. And, and space exploration is a little bit like that.